Hey guys, Teresa Barber here with Sippy Couture. Please um, ignore the mess. <laughs> we know that's how I operate um, and I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. So sorry about that. I'm really excited about what I get to show you guys today. Erin over at the Hippie Crafter contacted me about these acrylic paints um, that she has in stock and asked me if I would want to do a little review on them and use them and see what I think. And I'm so excited. Um, the paints that I use are from Hobby Lobby and, um, and Michaels. And although the acrylic paints there are great, it'd be nice sometimes if I have a little more pop. There's a few times that I will go ahead and I will do um, like an ombre base before I do glitter to make sure my glitters have a lot of pop. And the colors that I use, they're, um, the, you know, the store-bought paint, they're great. There's nothing wrong with them. But if they had more pop, I would just love that. Like that would make it perfect. So um, so we're gonna open these up, see what these colors are and um, and see what they can do. I'm like, y'all, really, really excited. And what I'm gonna do, oh my goodness. Um, I haven't opened any of these yet. Like I opened the box to take this out, but I didn't even get a chance to play. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited. This is all, this is all really, really new and fun for today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a guy's beach tumbler. I know a lot of times I hear people say that um, they don't know what to do. They wanna do a guy's tumbler, but obviously we don't wanna do glitter for a guy's beach cup. And I did one for my husband and it came out really pretty. I just um, ombre some paints and did layers of micas on top. And it came out perfect and he loves it. And it's not, you know, it looks like a good beach tumbler without having like a really feminine look to it. Um, and we really love it. He's, he was really happy with that. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use these paints and see what we have. Um, Oh my goodness, let's see. A cobalt blue, aqua, aquamarine blue, verdant. I don't know how to say these. <laughs> I don't know how to say these. Maybe I should have taken these out and practiced. Um, yep, don't know. Fantalo blue, possibly. Um, I don't know, they're just all so, so pretty. Like, look at the colors. Look how vibrant those are. I'm really excited. We have um, a few different shades of blue, some greens, um, some browns, this black, this grayish blue. Oh my goodness, cold gray. <gasps> oh, this is so pretty. What can I do with this? Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like if, um, if mauve was blue, it has like that look to it, like that, like it's soft. Um, it's not gray, it's not blue. Oh my goodness. It's, that's gorgeous. Oh, look how vibrant, orange, yellow. Scarlet, this red. Y'all, I don't like red. Um, if there's one color I do not like, um, probably an understatement to say I do not like red. I don't like red. This is pretty. Like this isn't bad. I don't think it will, maybe, we'll, oh no, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie for a video, sorry guys. I don't think it's gonna change my mind, but that's not a bad shade. That's not a bad shade of red. That's not completely annoying. Burnt Sienna, Rose, oh. <gasps> Oh, I wonder what this rose and cold gray would look like together. I bet you could do something really pretty with that, like some subtle flowers. Violet, lemon yellow. Oh, y'all, lemon. Oh, lemons have my heart. That is like my favorite flavor in the world, lemon yellow. I gotta figure out what to do with that. Mid yellow, some other pretty ones, yellow orca, champagne. I haven't had a good champagne before. Ooh. Oh, and this white, titanium white. This looks like a really bold white. Okay, I'm excited. Um, so now I made a mess with these paints. I'm gonna get them back in the box. Um, I'm going to use a Hog prepped 30 ounce, 20 ounce, modern curve tumbler. Um, I love this, guys. It's already prepped. I don't have to go sand it. I do prep all of my cups. I've noticed that if I mess up on a cup and I go to strip it and my cup is not prepped, um, the epoxy and stuff come off really easy whenever I go to, um, to try to strip it. The times that I've prepped my cups or used a prep cup, um, it's a little more difficult. You get that paint on there and it's a little difficult to like kind of go and, um, and wipe it out, even with acetone and magic eraser, which is like my go-to cleanup method. Um, it gets a little tough to get out of there. So we're going to go in with this prepped modern curve. We'll make sure I say it. Prep Modern Curve Tumbler. We're gonna spray paint it white because I like for all of my paints to have a white base before I put um, any color on top of it. I'm sure I could go on with these and just do it, but I feel like the silver is gonna dull down that color. I would rather have a really 
solid white background. That way the colors are actually their true color, if that makes sense. So we're gonna pick out a few of these. I'll let you know what we're using. Um, again, this is from the Hippie Crafter. I'm really, really excited to see what, um, what they have, what these do. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, look, it says right here. If you don't love it as much as we do, um, and it doesn't meet your expectations, call us, email us. How easy is that? Not a lot of people say that. Okay, I'm excited. Let's get going, guys. All right, guys, I have my spray paint, uh, my tumbler spray painted white already. I'm gonna go on with gold at the bottom because that's where uh, that kind of sand look will be. There wasn't a gold in there or a color that I really wanted to use as a bottom for it, so we're just gonna use this, um, this one. I really hope that was in frame. That's why I'm pausing for a minute. Did I just not, did I just spray that outside of frame? Oh my goodness, y'all, come on. Um, so we're just doing a little at the bottom. That's all we'll do. Our paints will bring it down, so we're not worried about anything else. I'm not worried about it going over right there because the paints will cover that. So we're gonna let this dry, take it inside. Oh, my paint's doing something funky, look at that. That's all right, we'll have that covered up anyway. We'll leave that, let's see what happens. All right, so there we go. Have this started, let this dry, and we'll go with the paints. Alrighty guys, I'm excited. I'm like super, super excited. Um, one of my favorite things to do are paint ombres, um, just with acrylic paint. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's so fun. So the colors I have pulled, I have Tholo Blue, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm very, very sorry, hippie crafters, if I'm saying this wrong, Erin. Um, I might need like a cheat sheet next time. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Tholo Blue is what my husband said. I have Cobalt, cobalt Blue emerald green, and this titanium white that I'm so excited about. This looks so bright. I have uh, Viridian. My husband said it's called Viridian. I have Viridian pulled, but I feel like that's going to be too dark. So I most likely won't use that one. I'm hoping that these two mixed together will give me a really good, um, that deep aqua color towards the top. And um, then these two mixing in towards the bottom before the white will really play well together and um, and give me another look that I'm looking for. Just like a lighter, um, more airy, almost um, green. So we'll start that way so I don't mess it up. I'm usually able to do this with one paintbrush, but I have another one in case I mess up. Um, and that's it. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. I shook this really good. Ooh, this is dark. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you don't need a lot of paint. Holy moly, look at that color. Oh my word, y'all. Holy cow, can you, oh, you can see that you're looking at it. Goodness. All right, so this is acrylic paint. Look how, oh, I can, I could almost do an ombre with just this one color. I wonder if I should do that. No, I wanna see how the other one goes. All right, this is acrylic paint. So guys, if you do this and if you don't like the way it looks, um, you can wash this off in the sink. Holy moly, that might be my new favorite color. I bet you this one's gonna be amazing. Okay, so this pink, this pink paint is thick. It's fairly thick. Does it dry quick? This is a thick paint, guys. This is a thick paint. I like it. It gives a lot of color. Okay, so now knowing how these are, I feel like I could have just started light. I could have started really, really light. You know what, let's put some of this titanium white in right here. Kind of downplay that color. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, let's just focus on the ombre. Let's focus on the ombre. I am going to switch paint brushes because now that I know this is kind of, as a thick paint, that blue, I'm really, really, really liking this paint. All right, we're gonna jump to this white before that takes up too much because I do want it to, um, to have almost a water look at the bottom. And I might actually grab another paintbrush to brighten up that white right there. I'm so impressed. 
I'm so, so impressed. All right, we're gonna work on ombre and that up. So um, as you can see, I'm just kind of taking my paint and I'm just um, going back and forth. You see that big line where the colors meet? That is fine, because um, the more I'm gonna go over this white right here, I don't wanna bring that blue down into this color. I'm gonna work this up, if that makes any sense. Like instead of kind of pulling that blue all the way down, I'm working this green up because I don't want to lighten this up too much. I mean, sorry, darken this up too much with the blue. The thing with acrylic paints to kind of be careful of is that if you um, have it where it's not completely dry and you go to use, uh, go to put more paint over it, you run the risk of pulling up some of that paint. And this stuff dries quick. This dries quick, quick, quick. It's kind of... Oh, I just touched it. Y'all, I seriously am obsessed. And like I said, this is going to be a guy's beach cup, so it's okay if it kind of has that streaky look to it in the back. We're going to have some other paints. Um, sorry, we're going to have micas mixed in that top little bit, so we're not even worried about... Um, that kind of look that it's gonna have like it will all be covered yeah these paints dry fast they are thick and they are gorgeous okay I'm gonna have to chill out for a minute definitely um, I feel like a little bit of a learning curve with this since I'm used to just those um, acrylic paints from Michaels and Hobby Lobby this is not those paints y'all this is great, I love it. All right, so the white, I'm brightening up the bottom. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of just um, have it look like waves, like just kind of rough. Take your paintbrush and do that move. These paints are amazing. If you are in a climate where you um, spray painting is a little tough because it's just cold and you can't quite get outside, these paints will easily do the trick for you. This would create a really, really good base. I'm gonna have to wait for it to, um... what do I do here? <laughs> Let's see. See if I can get a little of that blue. I'm gonna put a little on the paintbrush at the same time and see if I can soften up that line. Y'all, this really, really is an amazing paint. I'm really happy with this. This is cool. Definitely, like I said, a little tougher to ombre since it's so thick, but it the color is insane. All right, we're gonna take the paintbrush and kind of work some random waves through here. It's cool the way it's going on, like it thickens up in some areas and you can see the texture of that kind of coming through. Oh my goodness, that is a really, really pretty one. All right. Okay, I feel like what I should have done is maybe put some out on like a palette or something instead of kind of dipping into, you know, putting it right on my paintbrush. Could have worked a little quicker, I feel like. Uh-oh. Soften up that line. Like I said, we're gonna go over this with some layers of, uh, of micas and inks. So this does not have to be perfect. You just wanna get, you know, some good color in the background. That way it will really stand out the way that, you know, the glitter kind of does um, against the paint. So that's it, um, that's our base. I know it looks rough, but that is our base for right now. We're gonna get the epoxy on it, I'm, man, the way that these colors are just like this, I'm, oh man, I'd put money. That under epoxy, they're going to be phenomenal. So, all right, we're gonna let this dry all the way. We don't want these paints to really, um, to move around whenever we go to put that on. I have this little part that bubbled up for my spray paint, but um, that will be covered with some um, inks and micas too. And see, I just scratched that, they'll be covered too. <laughs> I shouldn't touch stuff. All right guys, see you soon.
All right, guys, we're gonna go on with epoxy now. Um, this has been sitting, this is dry. It's been sitting for probably 30 minutes and not intentionally 30 minutes, just I had some other cups to glitter and take care of. Um, and that's about the time that it took. So um, this paint is all the way dry. This color, these colors are really pretty under epoxy. I'm really, really, look how much that softens up. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's super exciting. You can kind of see the depth from the brush strokes. It's really, really pretty. I am definitely happy with this paint. Oh, how cool is that? All the colors stayed really vibrant um, where they were kind of blended together, just worked out great. We're gonna get this first layer of epoxy on here. I'm not sure if I said it's speed dry from Mr. Nola's Glitter. This is my all time favorite epoxy, pretty much the only one I use now. And I do it for everything, for marbling, for beach tumblers, um, all of my regular stuff, glitter. I like the fact that it dries super quick and I can go right on with sanding if needed. All right, we're gonna get this divided up into a few cups. And I probably poured too much epoxy here but I feel like this is one of those things where you'd rather have too much than not enough, especially with the colors that we're doing. We have some mica in these cups. We have a navy blue. We have kind of a bright regular blue color. One of these cups, I'm gonna have white, it's definitely too much epoxy. We're gonna have white and then we'll have a teal. Let's go. little white epoxy dye. And then for the mica that I'm using, I'm not putting a ton. It's kind of just what sticks to my popsicle stick, um, like a little puddle of it. Well, this is probably, that's a lot in there, so I might have to put more. Kind of just that much, um, since there's a lot of epoxy left in this cup. I'm gonna mix it up, get these colors on, and then we will drop inks on top. Having this many different shades gives a lot of dimension. And that's definitely, definitely what we're looking for since we don't have, you know, the glitters to give that pop under everything. Get these all mixed up. Probably should have put some more in that one. Just combine that. There we go. We put a layer of epoxy down on our tumbler first to help these inks and micas kind of swirl around the cup. If you're doing a design where you don't want your colors to mix so much, then um, I've done this several times before. I would drop on just the inks on a, um, on a tumbler without having it already coated. It'll stop it from sliding around on you. So I'm starting with the white. I'm gonna just go ahead and swish some across through here. I have a white alcohol ink that I'll be using for some more of the waves. So right now I'm just trying to get a little white in here so it can start kind of mixing with that epoxy, doing its thing and starting to look like waves. And then from here, we're gonna go with the top colors. We're gonna go navy on the top and bring it down into some of that blue. keep working that in the top area and I'm not doing straight lines you can see kind of like I'm um, I don't know what word it would be swishing it onto the cup all right we're gonna go with our regular blue oh well I guess now it's a mix isn't it it was a bit more of a deeper blue but that's okay and you don't need perfect coverage on this part this is just one step in this little process so get this on here where it will mix and kind of play off the other colors really pretty. Put it in some of the top to pull it together. And then we'll jump to this lighter 
Um, this was more of a um, turquoise color mica powder, but there's so much epoxy in this cup that it really dulled it down, which is fine because it has like this really pretty light, super, super light turquoise watercolor look to it. All right, so those are going around and we're gonna start with our inks. This part really helps if you have a baby wipe to help wipe off your silicone tool as you're using it. So I have a few of those that I keep close. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start up top with the navy. Well, this color is denim, sorry. We're gonna drop denim in towards this top and do the same thing, mix it. Like kind of give little swooshes to it so that it all, you know, all those colors kind of mix together and play off each other. If you're not comfortable with using speed dry for this, you can definitely use glass coat. Um, that's another just amazing, amazing uh, epoxy that the colors, the bubbles really work themselves out of these epoxies. Like the off gassing, everything that that was put into making these epoxies, it's just so awesome the way it the way it operates. It's definitely my, like I said, my favorite. All right, so we have that dropped around the top a lot. I'm gonna wipe it off and then I'm going in with possibly sailboat blue. Yes, it's sailboat blue. I'm gonna drop that. Some towards the top and some towards this middle section to help bring those colors down. It's gonna, you know, kind of like ombre it all down. You can see these deep, deep grooves starting from where I'm dragging this uh, silicone tool kind of across a tumbler, which is perfect because it's gonna give like that little ripple effect of waves. And then we will be going through with a heat gun or um, torch, sorry, with a torch. Uh, there's not many bubbles in here at all, but we'll still go through with a torch to pop any bubbles and help soften out those lines. This one that I'm bringing on next is Mermaid. This is going right in this section and I've wiped off my silicone tool again. So I'm not bringing that navy really far down into here, but I do want to make sure I'm bringing this turquoise up more. That will help tie all those colors together as well. So just kind of bring it across, give waves. We'll go up towards the top and drop some in there before we go down to our white. Keep kind of mixing that through. I have a little more of this I'm gonna get done and then I'm gonna wipe this off and start tying this color in right here to this white. The, um, man, the alcohol inks really do something amazing when it's mixed with this dye and epoxy and micas, it's so cool. Like the effect it gives is really, really awesome. So I'm gonna pull those through, keep swishing it around like waves. Break off any harsh pieces, like you can see where this dripped and stopped. Take your little tool and just ride it up and down across the cup like that. I don't like that part. Okay, and then now we're gonna go with our gold. You could leave it bright like this at the bottom. Um, I normally don't. Um, and especially since I have that, we want to play that off a little. So we'll drop some of this gold ink over that section and do the same thing, kind of swish it around there. And then after this bottom part is through, I'm going to bring it up into some of that white. And then I'll show you how to lay some waves. like some really detailed waves, I should say, because it kind of has like, you know, the look of it running through there, but dropping on the white alcohol ink, I don't know, it's so cool. I'm excited, <laughs> excited to show you guys. I'm such a nerd. All right, so we're gonna take this white alcohol ink, 
it's a mixative. It's not the straight alcohol ink. We're going to take this mixative and we're going to drop it. If you want to drop it on your cup, you can. I'm more comfortable doing this. And lay it flat and you're doing that same movement. You're going kind of up and down along that line. And it'll kind of break up. If you have a spot where it kind of took too much of a drip, then just take it and stretch it out. So you watch, like right here, you can see how it just ends. Stretch that drip out, run it through there with the little swishies. It'll turn into like really, a uh, really cool way of looking things. This one too, we'll go that. If you wanted to do waves kind of up throughout the cup, you can definitely up through up, good Lord. Uh, up throughout the cup, you definitely could just keep going, um, going a little more up and it'll kind of look like, you know, a roughed up ocean look. I'm gonna pull some of this down. And this is about the point where I, um, my epoxy is definitely starting to try and starting to try to set on me. I cannot speak today. Use this a little bit to cover up where that paint went wrinkly. Give a few little drips. Oh no. All right, that's a good point to show you. So I took the gold and you saw me just drop it right there. Um, now there's one spot of gold in that part. I don't wanna bring this gold all the way up, so I'm gonna take that out. Wait for it to come around, it's right here. You know what, instead of taking it out, I'm gonna kind of mix it in. My plan was to take it out and then I saw another part that looks like it had it, so I will mix it in instead. And then I don't know why, I'm kind of weird about straight lines. So I'm gonna go through and if something looks like it's a straight part or it's not quite, I don't know, not detailed or not mixed enough, I'm gonna make sure it all kind of blends in right there. Like that was way too straight for me. All right. I have a good amount of wave going through there. That's a good part about this is that if you drop something you don't like the way it lands, you can just scoop it up. All right, where's my torch? We're gonna to take our torch and we're gonna go through and help soften out some of these deep kind of crevices and work out these bubbles. There's a few that are in there from kind of poking down into it. Um, and I don't really want bubbles to worry about later. I don't wanna add a ton of heat because um, like I always say, I, I strategically put inks and glitters um, and paints, everything in a certain spot. Uh, I don't, it's funny cause I see all these people do these like really fun random designs and as much as I wanna try it, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm too kind of set and having it be a certain way. I'm almost afraid that, you know, doing something spontaneous will, um, I don't know, will come out weird. Like I'm not, I don't know. It scares me. That's it, the end, it scares me. Okay, so we have this set and that's it. Like that's a super, super simple, easy guys tumbler. It has that beach look to it without it being, um, glittery and girly so what i did for my husband and um i'll show the cup in a minute i have to go get it uh is i put his name in navy blue right on this section i wasn't happy about the thought of a name on there but we were also going on a cruise um and i didn't want anybody to walk off with this tumbler and i didn't want his name to be like white or gold or have it i didn't want it to girly it up i wanted it to be on there so no one's gonna walk away from it uh sorry walk away with it um but also it not take away from the design. So I just put it in navy kind of right across where that uh, the blue mixed with that other kind of navy color. And I don't know, I love the way it came out. It came out really great. So th this is it. This is a super easy guys tumbler that you can do a little beach design. Um, that paint, these paints are going to be my new favorite. Um, I'm not gonna lie, ombre with these paints um, is going to be a learning curve, I think for me. The store-bought paints are thin. They're fairly thin and it's easy to really, you have time. You have a lot of time to go through and ombre those colors and really make sure they're mixing in great. For these, you have a little less time um, because they are fairly thick, but the color you get from this is amazing. So I'm definitely thinking that if you are aware you can't spray paint because uh, it gets too cold or for whatever reason, you just can't do it. 
I would say get your base paint white and use these paints and it will give you a perfect solid color to put glitters over um, with enough depth. So, all right, 10 out of 10. Definitely, definitely will recommend, will use again, and we'll see if they have more than 20 colors that I have right here because if I can get these in some neons, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, perfect in time for summer. That would be awesome. That would be so, so awesome. So that's it guys. Please, once again, like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to, happy to help, <laughs> even though I can't speak more than half the time and I'm a mess. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you like this. Uh, that's it. See you guys soon. Okay, so um, see you guys soon as actually immediately. <laughs> see you guys immediately. This is what I was talking about with, um, I probably should have cleaned this cup. What is wrong with me? Um, I probably should have wiped this cup off soap and water before I showed you guys but this is it this is it with the name um I will link the font that I use down in the descriptions um it's a really fun guys font it has some pieces taken out of it so it gave it you know a little more playfulness than a solid font um with still kind of getting the point across but that's it that's kind of how I put it in there without it really taking away from the design um and he loved it I showed it to, when I gave it to him he it was perfect. He absolutely loved it. Just what he was thinking without it looking girly or, um, or, you know, having the chance of anyone running away from it. So that's it. Now I hope you guys like the tutorial <laughs> and, um, and the review of these paints. Um, Hippie Crafter, I am impressed and in love with these paints and I will definitely be in touch with for more. Um, they're great. They're great. I love them. So, all right guys, see y'all soon.